So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hello, this is Clint Louie coming to you today with five minutes from friendship. Thank you for taking a few moments to tune in with us today. How firm a foundation. Have you ever sung that old hymn, How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord? Let me share a little bit with you. No, I'm not going to sing it. But it says, How firm a foundation, ye saints of the Lord, is laid for your faith in His excellent Word. What more can He say than to you He hath said? To you who for refuge to Jesus have fled. Isn't that wonderful that God's word is a firm foundation? I shared a story in our Wednesday night meeting at the church, and I want to share it with you if I may, please. I read recently about a man in the, in the, uh, in the days of American expansion out west. This dear man, he's looking to move out west, no doubt looking for maybe fortune for gold or, you know, just to expand or what have you. And so he comes to the Mississippi River on his travels out west. And at that time of the year and in, up in the north area of the country, the river was frozen where he was trying to cross. He knew that he had to get across the river to get out west, but it's frozen. He was very unsure about the thickness of the ice and the condition of the river. He stood there all day long worrying about it thinking about it, debating about it, considering it, asking questions, taking his foot, tapping the ice, taking his hand, patting the ice there at the shore, over and over and over again. And finally, day, the day is wearing on, and finally he looks around and he's, his whole day is gone just about, and the sun is going to be setting soon. And so he knows he's, he needs to get across before the sun sets, so he decides to go for it. He gets down on his hands and knees. And very painstakingly, he begins to cross the river, distributing his weight as evenly as he can. A little crawl here, a little little crawl here, first a hand, then a hand, just slowly inching his way, listening for the crack of any ice, listening carefully, just knowing at any moment that ice could give way underneath him. And he's about halfway across when he begins to hear a noise. It's that, it sounds like thunder rolling. And, and he looks kind of behind him, and he sees that there's a man coming with a wagon load of coal. And this man with his wagon of coal is being led and pulled by four large horses. And the man is, yeah, yeah, cracking his whip, driving that wagon right across that ice like it's nothing, like it was just solid gold or asphalt. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's just getting across there. Not worried, not thinking, just moving right across because the man knew and believed that he was on a firm foundation, that it would hold up his wagon. Here's this other fellow on his hands and knees just crawling along the ice. Can I tell you today that you and I have a firm foundation in the Lord Jesus Christ and in the power of His Word. The Bible doesn't tell us to crawl in this race. The Bible tells us to run this race. The Bible says in 1 Peter 1 and verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The word hope in the Bible, we have watered it down so much. When we use the word hope, we think of uncertainty and wishful thinking. I hope so. I don't know, but I hope so. That's not the way the Bible uses it. When the Bible uses the word hope, it means certainty. It means expectation, confidence. How firm a foundation. This is Clint Louie. Hope you have a great day.